Hello and welcome to yet another Crossplay Predictions podcast. I am Nikki James sitting here alongside Peps. Yo, yo. And today we are talking about WWE Hell in a Cell 2017. Jose, uh, I haven't forgotten. 2015? I have not forgotten Hell in a Cell 2015. That was the year, wasn't it? Yes, that was the worst pay-per-view I have ever seen in my life. That was the year I came back to wrestling and yeah. it was shown. And it was the year I almost left again. <laughs> because of the because of that horrible pay per view, what was even the main event? Wasn't it Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker in a Hell in a Cell? Yeah, it was kind of a lukewarm match. And but on I, paper, that sounds fucking epic, right? Yeah, it does. It was not. But throughout that whole night, it was nothing but botches. Uh, it was botches. It was old man Taker. It was not it a was good just time. Boring. So, however, last year's Hell in a Cell was pretty good. I, I don't quite remember every detail, but I remember liking it when it was over. Right. Um, so I'm going into this year, uh, you know, a bit of trepidation still, but I'm excited. Are you excited? Very much so. Um, off the top of your head, uh, match of the night that you're looking forward to? Tag team belts. Me too. Usos. The Usos versus the New Day. They've been burning down the fucking house every week on SmackDown. The last couple of pay-per-views. How you know, um, all of our friends know how much I have hated the Usos. <laughs> I'm very vocal about it. Uh, but they've earned my respect through these badass matches they've been putting on. Uh, so we'll get into the predictions there in a minute. Let's just start from the top of the card. Let's not mess around. We got Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin versus the Hype Brothers. Hype Bros. Uh, who do you take there? Mm, Chad Gable and uh, yeah. Shelton Benjamin. Yeah, me too. Uh, I, mean, I, I do like the Hype Brothers, but they're just kind of going nowhere at this moment. And I am just I don't know. They just... They haven't been booked properly, and I think they're hinting of them breaking up. Me too. Uh, Me too. Uh, they've been... In fact, it was kind of weird. It kind of seemed like they backtracked on the breakup. Like, they were saying... Remember when Zack Ryder walked yeah, out on Mojo yeah, and they yeah, had I remember this that weird interaction backstage? Uh -huh. And then suddenly next week, it was like everything was cool, nothing happened. And now they're again hinting back at the breakup. So I, I think this will be... It. I think it's going to help um, solidify Gable and Benjamin as possibly a heel tag team. Um, and it's going to break up the hype bros, which I think they've been aiming at for a long time. So you take Gable and Benjamin? Yeah. As do I. I would love to see a uh, heel Zach. Yeah. Yeah. Heel <laughs> Zach Ryder. Yeah. I love Zach Ryder in all forms. Uh, moving on to the next match, we got Randy Orton versus Rusev. I'm going to start uh, there with a giant who cares. Um, I hope this match gets canceled. Uh, chances are... <laughs> <laughs> no, and I know, no, I know that sounds weird. No, what, I mean, what I mean by that is a lot of times they'll put matches on the card as filler matches. Right. So say the tag team match goes really long and they don't have time for this match anymore. They'll just scrub that match. Cool. They do that a lot. Um, I'm hoping that's what they're doing here. But you know what? Because my bar is so low, they can only impress me. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm hoping they don't they don't disappoint. Um, maybe they'll put on a banger. I'm gonna give I it. I doubt it, but I'm gonna give it to thing. Randy Orton. Easy. What about you? I'm gonna give it to little baby Ruru. Oh, <laughs> little baby Ruru. It's because he's so handsome. Very much so. You just want to pet his <laughs> chest hairs, don't you? I want to test his vocabulary too. <laughs> Remember when he uh, he beat? I think it was Randy Orton yeah, in like a Randy. few seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, he beats Randy Orton and goes backstage and some backstage interviewer is like, he's all smiling and happy and jumping up and down, pumping his arms. And she's like, Rusev, you look elated. And he's like, what, what does that mean? <laughs> he's just like a big, stupid idiot. Oh, cute Rusev. Um, but he's going to lose. Moving on Aww. down the line. <laughs> we got Bobby Roode versus Dolph Ziggler in a feud that is based on entrances. So that's cool. Um, what's, I kind of, I kind of seem interested in it. You what's know? your take on this feud? Um, it's pretty fucking stupid, but hey, they need something. Uh, I like both of these wrestlers. I, I do genuinely like Dolph Ziggler. He's a good performer. In yeah, ring. he's a company man. I give him a lot of credit. I like mm. to give him a lot of shit. Uh, but he's a successful heel. Yeah. When, when you really hate a guy and you don't know why, you're just like, I just don't like him. And then you realize, mm. oh, it's because he's just a fucking good heel. Like he's doing his <laughs> job. He's not a bad wrestler. He's just a really good heel. First wrestler right. to ever make me realize that was Edge. I hated him for years during his heel run in the late 2000s. And then one day, just, see him. it was like an mm -hmm. epiphany. I was like, oh, I don't hate him because he sucks. I hate him because he's so good Like at his job at making me hate him. You know what I mean? So anyway, sorry. I went off on a whole thing there. <laughs> What's your prediction? Who's going to come out on top, Bobby uh, Roode or Dolph Ziggler? My money's in Bobby Roode. They're going to be pushing this bro. Yeah, me too. I think uh, 
uh, Dolph Ziggler is just a human uh, losing machine. So I don't. He is a SmackDown's. Uh, Sammy Zayn or Sammy Zayn? Yeah, wait, he's on the same. They're on the same uh, show, aren't they? Um, yeah, they are. Damn, that's sad that we don't know what show Sammy Zayn's on. <laughs> All right, we'll say SmackDown. I'll believe you if you say it. If Jose says it, it's got to be true. Well, yeah, because remember Kevin Owens tried to fire him. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, so moving on down the list for you, the United States Championship, we have AJ Styles versus Baron Corbin. Wait, did I give my? No, I didn't you, give my prediction you, on the no, last you, one. Let me no, let me didn't. go back to that. Uh, Bobby Roode, yeah, Bobby obviously Roode for, sure. for the All same right. reason. Um, AJ Styles versus Baron Corbin for the United States Championship in a poorly built feud. What's your? Uh, it's going to be another squash match for AJ, I presume. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of Baron's chances? Baron. Where does Baron? It's, say Baron loses. Where does Baron go from there? I think they're going to carry on his feud with uh, Ty Dillinger. I think he, in some way he's going to. Um, Interfere, you know, done right. A fuse, a fuse, a feud between uh, Ty Dillinger and uh, Baron, Baron could be really good yeah. for both of them. They they both have the ability to put on good matches. So, anyways, I say the same thing. AJ Styles. Moving on down the list here, Jose and I both say this is the match of the night. The Hell in a Cell for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles between the New Day and the Usos. You you're gonna have. All three of the New Day members, probably, in this Most cage. Likely, yeah. Uh, you're going to have the athleticism of Kofi, uh, the hard-hittingness of Big E, and the tromboningness of Xavier Woods <laughs> against the Usos, who have just been hot lately, like just on a roll as far as putting on good matches. Where, where's your level of expectation for this match? It's pretty high. I mean, I'm trying not to keep it high because I don't want to be disappointed because that's what how WWE rolls. Uh, but my money is on the Usos. I think they're gonna win this match. Really? Yeah, all the way. Shit. I, just, I have. Uh, I just realized I haven't even thought about how I feel about this match till this very second. In they're terms inside of, the cage, right? In it's, terms of who's gonna win? Yeah, they're yeah. In, inside of the Hell in a Cell. Uh, so you say the Usos? Why? Yeah, they're just been savage. Uh, just the way how, I like her. The wrestling. They're very revival ish. The revival. Have you seen the wrestling? I believe. I think mm-hmm. you have. Yeah. yeah the Just revival the they're very... is very stiff, and like they they will, they will hit you hard because they know it'll make you hit make you hit them hard back. Right. You know, and therefore you'll get a good match. Um, yeah, you totally just swayed me. My knee jerk reaction was the new day, but the Usos really deserve it at this point. And the new Pretty days much, definitely yeah. had their time in the sun. They're the longest reigning tag champs of all time. So it's very true. They can be pushed off. Yeah, yeah, easily and still be okay. I'd like to see the Usos win that as well. Moving on down the list here to the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Charlotte and Natalia. I'm gonna go first on this one. Um, mm-hmm. Here's my thoughts on this match. It's a it's a big chance for Natalia to prove herself as a big time, not a main eventer, but who, as somebody who can keep up with this newer generation, the likes of Charlotte. You're making it sound like she's old. <laughs> And that's the thing is she's been around since she? she Natalia? Yeah. Oh, she's been around for a, a minute. She's been wrestling at almost 10 years just for the Jesus. WWE. Um so anyway, I think it's her chance to prove that she can keep up with Charlotte and put on a good match. If she puts on a good match, win or lose, her stock goes up. Um right. it's going to be her job to make herself look really good and Charlotte's job to make Natalia look hmm. good. Now, in terms of who's going to win, uh duh, Charlotte so I think Charles. My, going. What about you? For me, I think that's when uh, what's her name? She's gonna cash it in. Um, oh, Carmella. 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 F A B I. I think it's gonna be fabulous. <laughs> Just say fab. Fab, 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 fab fabulous, <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> oh my god! Remember when I sprayed you with a bunch of that the other day? Yeah, it <laughs> fucked with me pretty, pretty bad. I thought Jose I was home. Had a, Jose had a denim jacket on. And every time he turned his back to me, I'd spritz him with a bottle of fa- Fabuloso. As if I was a fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> and because he had the denim jacket on, he couldn't feel it. So he probably got sprayed 20 times before leaving. <laughs> and then you're driving, and- <laughs> driving in the car and it smells like Fabuloso. You're like, dang, <laughs> Nick did a good job cleaning. It smells great. Uh, anyway, if so- Carmilla doesn't fuck with this match, but I'm hoping that she does, uh, my money would go to... Um, Natalia retaining. Really? Yeah. Damn, that's a big push to give Natalia. 
the thing is she's 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 a heel I, at least that's what i think so i think she's gonna win in a heelish way so it, there's gonna be some fuckery involved i think carmella's gonna cash in regardless and win right um yeah that's what i think is gonna happen so moving on down the list we got two more matches to run down stick with us guys we got wwe championship match between shinsei shinsuke nakamura <laughs> and jinder the modern day mitsubishi mahal what's your take on this feud and who do you think is gonna win red do you want me to go first no, it's just like I really don't give a shit about this match. Yeah, I'm pretty much bored does? of this feud. I've never seen a championship match that feels so little like a championship match. This, the the Baron Corbin, not I me, mean, not that one. The uh, what's the other match on this list that was uh, uh, job style? Bobby Roode versus Dolph Ziggler to me feels like it has more weight than the heavyweight title match between Shinsuke and Mahal. Right. So yeah, this this feud has been terribly built. Every single step has been a misstep. Sorry, I just asked you to tell me how you feel, and then I told you how I felt. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Sorry. I'm passionate. I'm passionate about that's how funny. much I hate this feud. No, Go on. Man, so. That's good. Um, just like you said before, like, when you don't like a wrestler, it's because they're being a good heel. Ginger Mahal, he's not being either. Uh, it's just the way exactly. how WWE is writing for him, I guess, really. And that's he just comes off. Point. Just It's just really stale. It's boring. I don't get it, what they're trying to accomplish with him. But I'm not liking it, and it's making me not like him as a, as a champion. Yep. So and I wanted to switch. So I'm hoping Shinsuke, you know, can win this but recover. Um, if not, it's gonna go bad for bad for both of these wrestlers. Shinsuke can handle a bad feud right now, and it not hurt him too bad. I think. Jinder, on the other hand, is that's a whole different story there. <laughs> so who do you want to win? Shinsuke for sure. Yeah, you Shinsuke better fucking win. I'll tell you what, dude. I don't want to see Jinder Mahal be champion any longer. Uh, viewership in mm. India has gone down since he became champion, so that little experiment failed. Um, no one likes him. He's not. He's not a good no. promo. He's not that good in the ring. He did that racist promo a couple weeks ago on SmackDown. That he brought, still was doing it, wasn't he? He did apologize last week on SmackDown. Like, oh, uh -huh. I'm sorry if I went too far, but. And then continued to do those horrible promos where he's like, this is his face when I beat him. And it's a completely unrelated picture of Shinsuke's face, like a reaction photo. Right. Oh, God, it's so bad. So, so bad. This better not be the main event. Uh, and gender better lose. That's where I'm at. How do you feel? <laughs> Same Z's? Same. Same Z's for sure. All right, guys, we're about to get out of here. But we got one more match to talk about the false count anywhere hell in a cell match between shane here comes the money mcmahon versus kevin i'm not done with catering owens uh <laughs> how do you feel about the feud who's gonna win it feels pretty damn hot i'm down for hell any yeah, feud that involves vince himself um overall my money's on ko to to win to win this yeah he's gonna fuck up shane mcmahon do you think it's gonna end cleanly? No, not in any way. Um, I just fuck. How do I do? Do you think it's gonna end with like you know a finisher one two three the old, or do you think we're gonna see interference? It's gonna be no interference, but I know he's gonna be pretty dirty at it. I expect. Well, the, yeah, uh, but it's it's no DQ, so yeah, you know, dirty is a relevant. Well, I mean, who term. would? Well, okay. Uh, so. I think this is a great feud, one of the best in years. It, I haven't felt that 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 feeling of like, oh shit, is this real? Since the Attitude Era, uh, when he headbutt Vince McMahon, when Kevin Owens headbutt Vince McMahon right. and got blood, that elevated this feud to a whole new echelon to me. He also gave him a super kick and a frog splash. Yeah, don't forget that frog splash was brutal. Um, what do you think the false count anywhere stipulation is going to add to this or change? Oh, well, I forgot all about that. Yeah. Um, do you think it'll end outside the ring? Like, do you think they're going to utilize? If that? they're going to add that, yeah, I, I would think so. I just, I better fucking see Shane McMahon fall off the uh, Titan Tron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If it's going to be false count anywhere, dude, uh, uh, cut, jumping off the cell ain't going to cut it. <laughs> Where are they at? Uh, like what city? Yeah, I don't do you know. I don't know either. Fall. Actually, I'm gonna go do a quick search. Yeah, it's it's gonna be great. It, a feud hasn't felt this personal for a very long time in WWE, so it's really exciting to see. Um, this is WWE's chance to prove to us that yet again that Hell in a Cell is not a garbage ass pay per view that it's worth watching. 
So I'm incredibly excited. I don't think we'll see Vince McMahon interfere. If we see anybody interfere, I think we might see Triple H show up. So the show is going to be uh, in Detroit in the very prestigious Little Caesars Arena. Nice. The Little Caesars <laughs> Arena. Yeah. Show's going to be brought to you by Domino's. Guys, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us here on the Domino's Prediction Podcast <laughs> for Hell in a Cell 2017. I have been Nikki James. I have been Peps. And we will see you this next Tuesday for episode 14 of the Crossplay Podcast. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye. Little Caesar out. <laughs> <laughs>